Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back sharing with you what I picked up in the next sale today. I'm going to apologise now for my appearance. I might look tired, that's because I was up at 3am ready to hit the sales of next. Like always, I went with my best friend Ellie and we did all three next shops in Norwich. So we started at Longwater, which is the big one, it's the new one. And we went over to Riverside, which is the smallest, and then we ended up in the city one. I got something from each shop. I went with a budget of £50 because that is what I had. I had a £50 gift card left over or given to us for our a wedding present from someone. I probably say I spent maybe £40 of my own money but I am going to return some stuff. I literally just grabbed anything that I liked. I mainly went for gifts this time. Sorry, I've got a, like a hair up my nose. Um, I went for gifts this time. I go for gifts every time but I mainly went just to stock up my bulk pile if you're new to my channel and you're not really aware as to how I shop I'm quite savvy when it comes to money and spending and presents and I buy things when they're in a good deal or when it's the next day I'll buy them in quantity and then I keep them and divvy them out through the year for birthdays or Christmas presents so I'm gonna start off showing you the clothing items that I got I you know what I thought the clothing this year it, for the summer sale was pretty pants I literally got paid four things and if you've watched my hauls previously I've gotten so much stuff but I just found it all really expensive like a basic t-shirt was like four quid and I'm not paying that for a basic t-shirt when I can get three for the price of one in Primark I'm just not doing it she'll be starting nursery in January I don't know when she's going to go into these clothes but I just thought I'm not doing it so I'll start off with a purchase that I wasn't ever intending on getting. I've never seen a winter coat in in July sale. They always go in in March, which is when I got one. I got a, a baby pink one for P in age two to three in March, and that was going to be her winter coat for this... I don't think it's going to be for this year. I think I got it for next year. So this is going to be for 2020, because, you know, that's just how I shop. But I could not leave this behind, because... This is just beautiful. So it's this puffer coat, really thick. It's got the um, like ruche detailing at the bottom. This should have been £20. I got it for £10, so it was exactly half price. I got it in the 3 to 4. I probably should have checked the label just in case. Yeah, I got it in the 3 to 4. It's beautiful. So it's this really nice, like, off, like, duck egg, bluey, tealy colour with white floral patterns on it. Someone's just looking at me as I'm walking past cool um yeah so that is what that looks like it's beautiful and then it's lined on the inside i just thought for nursery or probably school when she bloody wears this thing i just love it i've gone for a very blue theme this time but i loved that so it was a big hit tenner it's cheap but She's always going to need a coat. Whenever she fits into it, she's going to she's gonna need it. And it's beautiful. So, also going to apologise for the lighting. Because, you know. Right, next, what have we got? A t-shirt. So, again, I got her one t-shirt. Normally, I'm like, I got this one. I got them in both colours. I got this one, which I wasn't going to get because it was 3 50 But I just thought it was a bit extra. And I can pair loads of different coloured leggings with this. So, it's like a cream colour t-shirt and then it's obviously got the rainbow sleeves and rainbows in at the moment she's not gonna wear it this year she's gonna wear it next year so I got it in three to four but this again was exactly half price should have been seven pounds got it for 350 so that's that I really liked this they actually had it in the navy um as well with the multicolored sleeves and back in the day I would have got both but I'm I'm just not doing it anymore I really just don't need to so that's her one and only t-shirt. I then got her a long sleeve top. These are just staples. Hardly any of these um, this year, which I don't I don't get. But it's like a like a dusky pink long sleeve ribbed t-shirt. I got this in the age two to three. This is more than half price. This should have been five fifty, and I got this for two fifty. So these are just staples. I put them underneath pinafores in the winter with tights and boots. I'm not too sure when she'll wear this. She probably might fit into it. This year, she's, um, I don't know. She's still in 12 to 18 month clothes and she's almost, she's two and a half, which is crazy. Then the final clothing item I got for P, I told you it wasn't, let me just change the blind. Hang on a second. And the final clothing item I got for P, sorry, there's a B outside, is this. And I told you I didn't get her a lot. I didn't get her anything really. This beautiful dress 
short sleeve just got like a little flute detailing on the sleeve but it's going to be like here i reckon should have been nine pounds which i think is reasonable for a denim dress from next anyway um and then it was reduced to 450 age two to three so she'll go into this this winter i think she's got one sort of similar but it's got buttons at the front and it's more of like a straight dress whereas this has got like a little cinched bit I love that. I really, really like that. That sort of threw me off guard a little bit, but love that little piece. And then, would you believe it? I actually picked myself up two t-shirts. I never, ever, ever buy myself anything in the next sale. And this year, I did. So I got this. I love a tea at the moment. So this is a hot pink scoop neck and white striped t-shirt. It's got a little pocket here. Um, it's really hard to show you. Um, it's not that long. Um, I got this in the size up. I got this in the 14. I feel like next clothes are quite small. I don't know if that's just me, but previously I got a couple of jumpers like a year or so ago and they didn't wash very well and they sort of shrunk and lost their shape and stuff. So um, I got this in the 14. It should have been 10 and then it got reduced down to 5. So there we go. Got that one. And then Ellie grabbed this one for me and it is a little bit more than what I would have liked to have spent, but it's pretty cool. Look at this. It says salut on it, which is French. I should know what that means, but I don't. Salut. Does that mean thank you? Salut. I don't know. But whatever it means, I got this. Um, and again, this should have been £16. Honestly, the next I went to, appalling with marking down. I wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't for Ellie. There is no markings on there to say what it is at all. It's just crazy. So this was £8. And I really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is the neck is a little bit funny. It's like elasticated, so it doesn't sit the nicest. But I do like it, and Neil thinks it's cool. So I'm definitely going to keep that. That was a nice little purchase for myself. But I had some birthday money left over, so I was like, you know what, sod it. I never buy myself anything. And now I have two nice t-shirts to mix to the collection, because I only ever wear grey t-shirts. So... I got Neil a set of boxes. He told me not to get him anything, but I just can't help myself when I'm in there. I've now finally managed to convert him from Calvin's to next. I can't afford to buy Calvin Klein's. They're so expensive. So I got these. Again, these are expensive for a price. They're £22 for four. But I got them in the sale, so they were obviously half price. They were £11, which again is it's good value for money. I mean, men's six underwear is expensive anyway considering i could get 11 pairs in primark for this price but it is what it is i've got them in the small and they're black which he doesn't have i got some in the march mid-season i can't remember what i got i think i got navy and i got a three pack so i'll probably put these away for his birthday and then he can also receive a set for christmas because you know my husband and wife now we just buy each other pants and socks so this is what they look like they're just the classic and then they just got the coloured band. I think he's going to like these a lot. He doesn't really like fancy underwear. So tuck that away in there. So he's got that. And then I was torn. So every time I go to next sales, I always try and find fragrance because their fragrances are really good. And even though they don't have testers out, I just bite the bullet. And they had a few this time, not in the main one. I managed to get them in the smallest store, ironically. I didn't know what to get. So I thought, I'm just going to get both because I can put one away for birthday and for Christmas. They were a fiver each. They're going to smell different. Ellie said to get the black, but they've both got different notes. So the black one has got bergamot and pepper, and then it's got lavender and jasmine and moss and sandalwood. Whereas this one has got bergamot and cardamom, nutmeg and black pepper, vetvia, don't know what that is, and tonka bean, which I think is sort of like a vanilla -y scent. But I just thought whether he uses them for work or not doesn't matter. They were a five reach. So these were half price. So I got the signature and then I also got the signature blue. They had another one. They had like a white one. It was like cool ice or something. But I just... I went for these. I feel like these look more of a present. Even though he knows I got them for like half the price. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So that is what I got for Neil what to show you next i'm going to show you the thing that i'm most proud of and that is my candles i have never experienced a next sale and them have such a variety of candles albeit i had to go to three different stores to get everything that is suitable but 
I literally, you know what? I can't even lift the bag. It's insane. Oh! First of all, sorry. Really quickly, before I start the candles, I forgot to show you two other fragrances I got. So I got these, this, sorry, for P. It says 6 plus. I'm not going to give it to her this year. I'll probably give it to her next Christmas. I know, I'm mad. It's how I shop. I buy it, I put it away. It was 2 50 It's a cute little perfume. I just think it's really, really sweet. It's a 50ml bottle. What girl, when she's three and a half four isn't going to want a perfume i don't know and i've never seen these in the sale before so that's why i grabbed it and then the other one i got is i don't know i've never seen it before botanico it should have been eight pounds got reduced down to 250 this was the only one there and i picked this up for my mum um so it's got italian bergamot lemon black tea and cucumber honey and precious woods scent in there so i just thought it was a really nice gift so whether she'll appreciate that or not i don't know but she's got it start with these bad boys i'm not too sure what i'm going to do about the candle situ i do sort of want to return a couple but they're just so good to keep so i got these first of all these were 250 reduced down to eight it's just they're just good aren't they whether you keep them for yourself or whether you give them away i just think they're such a good staple present male or female i've got some more masculine ones in the bag as well so this one is cactus flower and cedarwood i mean i'm not gonna lie it doesn't smell that good i think because it's not enclosed um but this is what it looks like and this isn't gonna focus come on oh i don't care it's not gonna focus i'm too tired to push the button and then it's got this really pretty like bubble effect glass jar so i picked that one up oh and then I got this one. This is rhubarb and white freesia. This one smells nice. This was two pounds, reduced from six. That looks like this really nice ombre colour. Really like that. So again, good present. 65 hour burn time. Really big burn time. So those are those. Got some more boxed candles. I think I'm going to return this one. I can always find a use for it, but. I could also get 250 back, which I know is silly, but um, this is Lime Grove. At burn time up to 50, it should have been eight pounds, reduced down to 250. I'm not going to get it out of the box because I don't want to ruin it. I got it because it was the best of a bad bunch when I first went, and then I found loads of others. So it does. It sort of reminds me of a KFC wet wipe, if you know that smell, but like the lime version. I'm not too sure, but I got that one anyway. I thought I'd show you everything I got as opposed to like stuff that once i've returned it i am sweating and then i picked this one up which i think is really nice and it's slightly smaller this is 40 hour burn time but it was a pound cheaper this is 150 and uh, this is one of the last things that i found but i like this one and this is avocado and lemon balm which i think is really nice i like the box it looks like a nice good gift it's got lime green leaves avocado mint sugar cane and vanilla so i really like that one I'm not too sure who they're going to go to, but normally I do a candle and a reed diffuser, or either or or both, and then like a box of biscuits or chocolate, maybe a bubble bath, and that will be a present for a female or whatever. I picked two up. I don't, again, it was just the best of a bad bunch when we first went. So they're in these metallic kitten, uh, containers, carton, sorry. I'll take one out just so I can show you what it looks like. It smells like man. It's a nice candle. I mean, this one's a little bit battered, so I might return this one. It smells really nice. It's just like a, a white candle. Yeah, it does smell like man. So I thought I'd give one of these to my dad. I don't really know if he burns the candles that I give him every year, but, I mean, it's a gift. Bergamot black tea, very, very, or whatever it is, tobacco, amber and cedarwood. So, yeah, I've got two of those. So I might send one back, but again, they're good to keep. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. I just lost my mind today. And then finally, I got a whole load of sets, which I'm obsessed with. In total, I got five of these because they are such a bargain. If you go to Next Sales, get these for gifts. They're incredible. So they're the three sets of candles. This was the most expensive one. This should have been £8. I got it for £2.50. Um, in here, that's annoying. So in this one, all the scents are the same, which frustrates me a little bit because some of them are different, whereas this one is the same scent. So we've got hyacinth, honeysuckle, 
iris so these are all like floral scents this is what they look like they're cute little greenhouse like style i love these i'll either give these to my grandma or i'll give them to carol because carol's really into gardening and i don't know she might appreciate that sort of thing so mm. yeah these look really really sweet i really like those even if like you keep the box afterwards and put them on the shelf i just think they're adorable so i got those ones i got another four packs because they're, they're two quid how can you leave them behind? I had so many this year. So this one has got all the same scents, which I didn't realise. I probably wouldn't have picked it up if I knew, but I'll give this to my mum. She probably won't even read it and she won't even know. It's just a thought that counts with her. So, and here we've got violet, mimosa, iris, sandalwood, musk and cardamom. So really nice sort of strong scents. 15 hours per candle burn time. Should have been 650, uh, reduced down to two. So that's what that looks like. This one's like a really nice just simple packaging i'm not going to open them and show you what the candles look like inside because obviously i'm saving them for gift purposes the next one i have got is they're all the same scent why this one's different oh for christ's sake <sighs> never mind i've got my little geometric set ones I thought these were quite cool. Again, should have been 650, reduced down to two. Pink grapefruit, coconut ginger, coca bean, and musk. All three of them are the same. Again, 15 hours burn time. Cute little gift. This one is different. So I, I love the packaging of this. All about that watercolour with the hand drawn image, Im, Im, images. I can't talk. Just bear with me i got up at 3 a.m it's not focusing either but i love love the like the packaging for this reduced to two again white jasmine very berry and apple blossom so again this might be good for like my stepmom with a bubble bath or like a bath bomb again good little prez and then this one i got with this I got these from two separate stores but they actually go together so we've got the tea party collection matcha tea white tea and spearmint and jasmine tea so obviously you can imagine the fragrances i want to keep some of these myself i just don't need them i've got maybe i should put that down there there we go and then this one matches it so we've got the matching reed diffusers which i think is such a lovely gift you could even get like gift a mug to go with it so again we've got match tea jasmine tea and white tea and spearmint and this should have been 12 pounds and it was reduced to four which is a bug massive bug that is that is all my candles and then i just picked up some stuff that i liked that could be given as gifts or stuff that i can keep for myself the first thing i'm going to show you is this something very essential a bin I never went to Next thinking I could get a bin, albeit it's a little bit marked, but it was three quid. Should have been a tenner. I have got a, one of those pedal bins in my bathroom and it's metal and I hate it. It makes me feel so dirty because of how rusty and grimy and just rank it is. It's vile and I get embarrassed every time someone goes in my bathroom. They might use my bin and it's just not very nice. I hate metal things in bathrooms. So I found this guy on a whim he's gray i love him he hasn't got like a a lid so when you when you're on your lady time you're just gonna have to wrap it up and make sure it's hidden discreetly if you come to my house um but the lid lifts off and it's like that i just feel like it's really clean i haven't had a new bin in my bathroom for five years i don't know how often you should replace your bins i feel like that's a little bit too too long so i've got myself a bin i I love my bin one of my favorite purchases um i'll show you what's in my bin something i've never ever brought from next before mugs now you know me i love a mug i don't need any because i've got a cracking cat kidston collection but i just just couldn't leave them behind i couldn't do it so i was only gonna get one and ellie was like you can't buy one and not get the other so i was like okay so i got two look at these bad boys these are like bowls i love me a mug of tea i'm so glad ellie told me to get both 
I would love, I'd like a green one as well, just to match the collection. So they actually had a dinnerware set for 13.50, reduced from like 40 quid. I wish I got it, because we're now going to be moving house, and I want to get new stuff. But, got some mugs. Oh, yes, so we've got this one, which has got a lemon paint trim around it. Should have been a fiver. Went down to 150. And then I got this one as well, which is pink. Again, should have been five pounds, reduced to one fifty. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. These bring me so much joy. Yes, love a mug. I'll show you these. Going on the mug theme, I haven't undone them yet. Is these canisters? Now I saw these, and um, I didn't pick them up because one of them. I don't know if my camera's just moved. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. One of them didn't have this reduced sticker, it just had the £20 written down. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not paying £20 for three canisters, not a chance in hell. But then I saw these. You know where, like, if you go to the next hours, you'll know where you, like, you have your table and you pull all your shit out and then you organise it and then you get the bits that have been dumped. This was in the dumped section. And these, I got them on a whim because, A, mine are quite old and they'll smash the lid of my sugar um bowl lit i don't know what they're called canisters so i needed to get a new one not the best grip i'm not gonna lie i wasn't able to test them i don't even know what i was saying i basically picked these up because i know that we were going to potentially be moving house we've now pretty much got the house so that's fine i really like them they're simple aren't they they're sort of they're like a bluey gray with a nice wooden lid. It's a canister, I mean, what more can I say? The suction's not the best. I will only use one for tea, one for sugar, and because I don't drink granulated coffee, I'm gonna put my sachets of hot chocolate in the other one. But I just, I really like these. I think they're really nice. Even though I don't actually have my tea and coffee stuff out on the side, I like to keep all my surfaces as bare as possible i think i'll find a nice new home for these so i really really like these so knowing that i won't be able to use them for a little while but they're beaut i went a little bit mad on the vases didn't i got myself four i just get caught up in the moment i really do it's a little bit crazy i picked this one up though Look at this, look how weighty this is. This is glass, this is thick. Like, if you had a burglar, you could smash the round head with this and it would do some damage. Like, this was originally 10 pounds, which I think is really cheap any anyway. I wouldn't ever pay that, but it's good value of money. Um, it's like th this blue color. Again, I've gone on the blue theme. Three quid, three pounds. It's a good gift, but I'm gonna potentially put this in my bathroom or I've got a print in my hallway which has got this sort of shade of blue on it. So I could put it in my hallway. The options are endless. I just love it. Slightly lost my mind. But I love this. And then I got myself this one. This is the one that I picked up first. I thought this was very Oliver Bonus. I really like it. Very anthropology as well. So it should have been £6. Got it for £2. I think I might have got it for free though. I don't think she scanned it. Every time I go to a neck sale, I manage somehow to get something for free. They always forget to scan something. I think last time I got this red top that was worth four quid that I just exchanged because they didn't do their job properly. So this time I've got a vase. I don't know if I got it for free, but I think I did. I didn't steal it. They just overlooked scanning it. Um, so it's like this dark green on the top. It's sort of like got this metallic design and then it's white at the bottom i really like it really like it i don't know what i'm gonna put in it flowers probably don't know where i'm gonna put it but i just liked it again something that i don't normally pick up i've got a photo frame should have been seven pounds oh, it's got a little bit bit of damage at the top but that's okay um Got it for two pounds. Look at this, isn't this cool? Hang it on the wall. Albeit I don't have a massive selection, or space, sorry, for a photo. And I don't normally put photos on the wall. I could just put like a little quote in it. Like, 
you know what I could do? I could put this in my new hallway and I could put my Wi-Fi password on a bit of paper and then put it in there. I could put, like, welcome to the Coach McKinder's household. I don't know. I'm trying to be all Pinterest and all grown up in this new house that we don't currently live in. But I just really liked this. Again, it would make a good gift if you were thinking about doing gifts and stuff. But I just, I just liked it. I got this because I got these. I love these. Let's talk about this first. I'm not too sure. I saw them in the window and I was like, cool, oh, yeah, I really like those. I think they're really nice and like pastel vibes. I do still really like them. Should have been £12, got them for a fiver. So it's really cheap. But how many vases do I actually need? I don't know where they're going to go. I don't know. I don't really have a home for them. I don't know. I feel like this and this is going to be too much. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you should do either or. And I prefer this over this. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. It's hard to visualise what I'm going to have in each room at the moment. Because I'm not there. And I don't know space. I do roughly know sizes and stuff. But I think until we put shelves up and stuff like that it's just hard isn't it so i've got those i've got 14 days to return them so we'll see and then i got these i thought these were very all akili esque i really really like these i think they're beautiful the little tea light holders um in cream lime green and in like a duck egg blue and i just think these are absolutely stunning there's only two of these left i got them in the last shop that i went to I just think they're beautiful. I really do. You know I love my candles. I just... I love them. I love them so much. These would even look nice on piece, um, on her shelf. I could do this as a colour theme in her room. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I just bloody loved them. And they're only £3. Reduced from £10. Perfect gift. With, with a box of tea lights. Perfect, perfect gift. So I've got those ones I'm going to return are these gold ones. I do think they're cool, but I originally brought them for my mum and I don't think I don't think she'll use them. I don't think she'll appreciate them. So yeah, I think these ones are just going to have to go back. They were 12 pounds reduced to 3. So it's still a really good price. I don't think I've got anyone else I can give them to. I'm sort of running out of giving people like tea light holders how many can i give out to people i feel like i've done it to every woman in my family now so i've sort of run out of people so i'm going to return these but i got them anyway that is the end of my next sale haul i hope you all enjoyed today's video it's slightly different for me i normally just do clothing and a bit of homeware but i feel like i've i've done really really well i'm really happy with the things i got i treated us as a family or the home because um obviously we got our 50 pound gift card for our wedding so i got some really nice stuff and we'll be returning a little bit of it just a couple of candles those um tea light holders and maybe those vases but other than that i'm really happy with everything i got love my bin love my mugs i hope you'll enjoy today's video leave me a comment let me know if you've been how you did what you got i didn't think the clothing and stuff this year was very good at all but hey ho i got loads of homework stuff and replacement Right, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.